future children, generations beyond, what do I say to those people, those, those offspring, those ants, descendants of mine? The word uh, comes, that comes up is deep. I'd like to encourage them to live a deep life. Okay. Uh, for me, the, the passion started with me following what I loved to do, which was to learn. And that, that was just there very early. I still remember my parents bought uh, one of those 21 volume, two shelf steps of the Encyclopedia Britannica. And as a young child, uh, I would read those, and I'd read out for North Whitehead, and because those are the people that wrote those things in that in that, in that time, and so I was inspired. Uh, so finding something, and so I would follow that, and you know, my dad wanted me to take over the family business, but that while well, that wasn't terrible for me, it was not my passion. So I had some trauma there, having to say, no, I'm going to go do this other thing. And I got involved with the computers very, very early, and, and they were very new at that point in time. So it was exciting, it was new, no one knew anything about it. And I discovered that I was good at it. And so following what I noticed and what I liked and what I loved seemed, if there's a pathway, I'm not sure there is, but if there is a pathway, my road to that is to do that, is to follow my heart about what it is I love, what it is I enjoy, and don't worry about the stuff I don't enjoy. There, there's a, a, I think of the universe, my life in it is as an incredibly opportunity, incredible opportunity and very rich and very full. And I want them to experience that. And, um, and so I think I, I want them to make sure to take time for that, to take time to be in their life. And um, sometimes I get a little discouraged when I talk to some young people now. They sort of don't seem to care about anything. Not everyone, but some of them don't. And um, that to me is very sad. And uh, you know, to, to, uh, life to me is about finding a passion that, you, that, that stimulates you, that causes you to want to get up in the morning. What is that passion? How do we find it? How do we bring it out in our children? I think some of the work that we're doing here with the Conscious Elders Project is to help nurture that sense of aliveness and uh, a lot of being in your life. And that's one of the reasons I'm here. I feel like we need each other. And when I say we, I mean all of us. The young, the old, the intermediates, males, females, whites, blacks, you know, all of us are needed. And um, it's such a joy to be involved with living our lives, both ourselves, I talked about that some already, but also in conjunction with everyone else. I think that's been my learning, so a lot of my edge has been about learning how to be more easily with my heart with other people. And uh, other people come at it the other way, we're all different. And that's one of the amazing things about our life, is every story is completely different. So I'm going to celebrate each other's stories and use them to help each other learn and grow and understand the richness of the human experience. And, and because it's so exciting to see that and feel that and be amazed by it and want to understand it. And there's all these ways to be with that. And that's what I'd like to add.